Hey, what's up guys, real quick. So the other day I made a video about an add-on that allowed you to import a whole bunch of brushes or a brush set all at one time in Blender. And a viewer brought it to my attention that that add-on uh, wasn't working in Blender 2.93.5 on the Mac. So I went and I verified that in fact it does not work on the Mac and on my PC it works fine, so I wasn't aware of the bug. So I had asked that viewer to report the bug to Blender and I went ahead and did the same. So good news is um, a Blender dev responded and said that um, they were aware of it and they were able to reproduce it, etc. The bad news is, is that that dev was able to reproduce the bug on other operating systems, not just the Mac, per the report I got. Um, so that's a bit of bad news. I've never seen the bug before working on the PC, so I wasn't aware. But in the end, it's still good news because they are aware of it. In fact, it was already previously reported. So they merged my report with the previous one. And hopefully that means we're going to see uh, an update, a, a fix in, in a coming version of Blender. So hopefully that's good news. In the interim, though, um, if you, um, if you know, if you're not familiar with, you know, using brushes in Blender uh, for texture painting, um, you know, all is not lost. You just have to import them one at a time. Really quickly, the way you do that, in case you don't already know, is you go into your, you know, your texture um, paint workspace, like I'm in here now. Same kind of setup as the previous video. I've got two um, BSDF, you know, set up with a mask. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now what you would do is you would go into your brush settings. Now, just like I said before, there's always the first one I call normal. And then if you just click on the number two, it duplicates the brush. And let's just call this one, just like before, we'll call this one G1. So there's my brush. So now, it, because we're not importing a whole set, we would just come down to either texture or texture mask. Now, I mostly work in texture mask, and I'll explain this more in coming videos, but um, it works the same way in either one. So you would go into texture mask and you would just click on new and then let's say give this one a name, say G1, and then you just have to, um, you know, go get it. So if you click on this little button right here, you go to this, the settings for your G1, make sure you're on your actual G1 brush, go to open, go to your brushes and say, I'm gonna grab the first one in the set. So that one, and then there it is, all right? That's all you have to do. So if you come back to your brush now, give it a second, there it is. Now, the cool thing about doing it this way is that, yes, it does take longer to do, especially if you want to use multiple brushes. Like I said, in that rocket image, I used four. That's not that big of a deal. Um, but what you can do, and I was going to show this anyway, but um, when you're in here, if you go back to your brush and you click on this little icon right here, if you hold your mouse over that, it says custom icon. If you click on that, right, it's going to ask you for a path. And if you click on that and you do the same thing, select the same brush alpha, hit accept, and then now... If you give it a second, your brush will actually show the actual alpha that it's assigned to, which is, you know, cool if you, you know if you have a few of them set up and you want to be able to click through them really quick, right? Um, so anyway, that's it, right? So this is still all good to go. The only other things I would change here would be I would change the, you know, from tile um, tile to view plane. I would turn on or uh, turn on random, make sure that my pressure sensitivity for my pen is on, and then I'm I'm rocking and rolling. Um, set the um, stroke to whatever you want, the fall off to whatever you want, depending on what you're doing. If I was doing like edge wear, um, I would probably use um, this last fall off setting here. And then um, I can go in and, you know, just start painting my edge wear like so, right? And then there it is. And then you would just set this up, you know, however many brushes you want, um, you know, when you're starting your project. So that's it. That's That's how you do it if you're not using the add-on. So if you are experiencing that bug where you get a Python error that says, um, you know, there's like a path error or something weird, um, this is how you do it. Just import one brush at a time. So that's it, guys. It was just a quick little update to that last video. Hopefully we'll see a, a, um, an update to that add-on and uh, we can go back to using that. Again, if you're not seeing the error, then rock on, you know. But if you are, this just do it this way. All right, guys, once again, link for this brush set down in the description. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the coming series where we texture paint a couple of really cool projects. Until then, see ya.